So in this process, uh, there were actually three round of, uh, I mean, two round of interviews, and one was an online test. Uh, for online test, uh, there was a CGP criteria of seven, and uh, in the online test, there was a question about uh, on a coding programming. Uh, they were actually uh, testing your programming skills. Then there were uh, some OOPS concept questions, uh, OS concept questions, and questions were on you know, aptitude and stuff like that. And uh, after I qualified for this round, I mean, uh, some twenty people qualified for this. Uh, Round. and then there were actually uh, two round of interviews one was HR and the other was technical for the first my first interview was on HR uh, I just uh, went in, into a room and there was a guy uh, he just greeted me and he, the first question he asked me was uh, to tell me about yourself I just uh, tell all my qualities and how I am, how I can link my qualities to the entire organization, what uh, what steps I have done in this campus and all these things. Then they ask, then they ask uh, to link one of my quality. Uh, I mean, they, they actually asked me to explain the quality that I possess. Uh, I actually told them at the time I kind of initiated it and then uh, told me to explain how you would take it, so can I explain, justify it. So I told them. Uh, Myself associated with the project of uh, hybrid vehicles. They asked some more, uh, myself. Uh, then they asked me some more about this hybrid project, and then they asked why you actually uh, wanna go into software sector if you are really interested in motorsports. And then I, I was like, uh, I just linked this whole whole thing, and, they, and then, then I said, okay, maybe these are two uh, different disciplines, but the, actually the market and actually the process. I mean, actually the criteria is that we are having interdisciplinary things uh, around this. So if you are going for a motorsports, you do have a, have to think about GPRS, you do have to think about automations, you do have to think about testing, so you do have to think about all those uh, things like, uh, all those software related things. So it was nothing like, I just convinced them that okay, I just convinced them of my answer. Then they asked me uh, about uh, yeah, they asked me about leadership qualities if you if, if I have and how well was you are uh, working in a team. I just explain all these things. And they asked me uh, then they asked me uh, what what uh, do you want to do? I mean, uh, they asked me what you want to go in innovation side or you uh, would go to support a system that is already existing. Then they just uh, told that I want to go in innovation side. Then they asked no, but we will be sending you in that sector uh, which supports a existing model. So how how you how you gonna survive there? Then I just explain uh, it's nothing. Actually, supporting a system actually requires an innovation because you have to optimize things. You have to get a best of. You have to uh, you have to do things so that you you get a maximum of it. So it actually requires innovation. They uh, they were actually uh, convinced by the I've convinced with the answer. And then uh, this was this was the HR interview. Uh, this was like this, and uh, that's it. That's uh, it was done. Second round of interview was on um, technical. Uh, there were two people in the panel. They asked me questions about OOPS concepts, uh, bit of programming. They actually tested programming in the test itself. So they didn't lead on, on these things. Then they asked about my interns and my projects. I have to explain every bit of my intern internship. And they asked, yeah, there was an interesting question. They asked me, uh, who is your role model? I was like, dumb, okay, who is my role model? I, I was not prepared with it. So I just said uh, Sachin Tendulkar. So uh, he asked me how Sachin Tendulkar and why Sachin Tendulkar. And this just explained okay, uh, Sachin Tendulkar, I know he's off the profession, but the good good thing is the responsibility he carries and the work he has done and the heights he have achieved through the labor and the hard work and anything. I mean, just I was like, uh, I just explained I am too much influenced with him and the kind of uh, stature he has. So he was like, okay, impressive. So next, uh, next they asked about, uh, huh, they asked about what, uh, what was your life in. They asked me to explain, uh, to elaborate all the life in IT. And just explain, I learned guitar and all this and all those things I've done in campus, and I explained how you in IT. The good thing about IT is, uh, IT is that you always feel the pressure. You always, you just can't rely. You just can't sit. Okay, I'm the best. Uh, okay, I have qualified J, and I'm here. Okay, job is done. No. You don't certainly you don't need to have to sit there. You will be or always be demoralized. You will be always be put down by guys because they are you know because they are quite more expert than you. So uh, this was the whole thing. Uh, I mean, 
technical, they asked for the about their projects and all. So the whole thing. And this was just that. Uh, as a tip, I will say that uh, whatever you, uh, whatever qualities you put put before them, you have actually you actually have to link all those qualities with that profile. I mean, even if you don't have that requisite uh, capabilities or that requisite profile, then you have to somewhat create a scenario that you can actually link and you can actually survive in that particular company. So that would be the most important uh, because it's uh, it's actually it actually happens that we uh, we apply for many com companies and we actually. Uh, may make our resume flexible for it. So it's quite important that you link all those qualities with the quality they are seeking for. And the second thing will be to just uh, brush up your basic uh, uh, programming concepts. Programming, I think uh, many people will be familiar. You just need to uh, brush up. I mean, it depends on company. Consulting doesn't, uh, consulting company doesn't ask for much of programming. It's uh, on basic things. And uh, aptitude is one thing that you must have to. I mean, it's very important to based on aptitudes and things. Cat stuff would do, I mean, just a, a little bit of brushing up in cat is just, it's just okay. And that's it. And yeah, one more thing is, uh, never think that this is the end of life. Actually, I mean, if you are in IIT, or if you are anywhere, if you are in any good college, just don't think that this is the end. Okay, I have reached to this point. This is the, this is, I just finished all the things. You have to actually work forward. You have to actually work because you can't uh, rely on the things you have done in the past. You have, have to actually move and just, you know, it, you got the feel. <laughs> Thank you.